so now basically we are doing with some fact match 2022 question number 2 it's a limited company sum what do they want us to find out uh, amount of interim dividend paid amount that is paid as interim dividend first we find out the number of shares how do you find the number of shares Oh, uh, so you will do uh four hundred and fifty thousand divided by the face value, so zero point five zero. Yeah, so four hundred and fifty thousand divided by the face value, so you get the number of shares, and the number of shares is nine hundred thousand. Yes. Yeah. You have share premium and you have retained earnings. The director has paid interim dividend of zero point zero five per share. So how will you get uh, interim dividend? You will multiply the number of shares with the paid value. Yes, do it. So number of shares is nine hundred thousand, and I will multiply it by zero five. So interim dividend will be dollar forty five thousand. State two factors which the director should take into account when deciding the amount of dividend payment to shareholders. When I am deciding how much dividend I am supposed to pay shareholders, what do I take into account? The amount of profit available. Amount and... of profit or amount of cash. Sorry, yeah. amount of cash and uh, shareholders' expectations. And you will also take into account shareholders' expectations. Yeah. Next month. On first December, the directors have made a bonus issue, and the bonus issue is how many shares they are giving. Two ordinary shares for every three held. Okay. What is the shares that is held with the company? Nine hundred thousand. We already calculated. Yes. So we have nine hundred thousand shares held. So what will be the bonus? Um, five. Cross multiply. Two yeah. ordinary shares for every three held. So the bonus will be nine hundred thousand into two divided by three. So the bonus yeah, will so be that... hundred thousand shares. And how much amount is per share for? Oh, per share. Per share is for how much? Zero point five zero. Five zero. Yeah. So the amount per share is for zero point five zero. Yes. So what will be the amount of bonus? Three hundred thousand. Yes. Three hundred thousand will be the amount of bonus. Now the next thing that you need to consider is that bonus is given from where. From yeah, where is so bonus given? Share premium and retained earnings. Yeah. So first you will lose which account? First you will always use share share premium. So first you will always use share premium. Share premium is one twenty two thousand, which you will exhaust fully. So yes. your bonus, when you are giving bonus, your share capital will increase. So I will write issued share capital will increase capital as a credit balance. So it will increase. So this will become three hundred thousand. <laughs> this three hundred thousand I will first use share premium. Yeah, and then the remaining will be from retained earnings. So the remaining will be three hundred thousand minus one twenty two thousand. So this will be from the retained earning. Yes. Yeah. How many shares were there initially? Nine hundred thousand. 
and how many shares you gave as bonus? Uh, three hundred thousand. Sorry, six, yeah, six hundred thousand shares as bonus and amount was three hundred thousand and from retained earnings I'm going to use one seventy eight thousand. So the new amount of retained earnings will be uh, one sixty four thousand. Yeah, one sixty four thousand. Okay. Now, what are they saying? The directors paid a final dividend of 0 0.07 per share on all ordinary shares issued at this date. So in all the shares that they had on 28th February, they have paid a final dividend of 0 0.07. Yes. And the company's profit for the year was 114,000. They want yeah, the so retained earnings on... 28th February. Yeah, so balance BD, right? So the retained earnings at start. What was the start date? 28th February 2021. Yeah, so Two start day balance. 342,000. 2021 was 342,000. From that, you have paid what? Uh, the uh, bonus, sorry, interim the interim, dividend. sorry. No, you have paid for bonus. Um, ha, but yeah, profit for the year also you can put first. Ha. You paid interim dividend also out of retail earnings, right? 45,000. Yeah, miss, yeah, that part, yes. So you have paid interim dividend. You have also given bonus issue. How much? 178,000. Then you're also going to pay final dividend. Yeah, and then profit. Final dividend will be paid on how many shares? 900,000 uh, plus 600,000. It is going to be paid on 1,500,000 shares. Okay, yeah. Interest will be 0.07. So, 105,000. So, basically, the total into the final dividend per share, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, miss. You will add the profit for them. So you will get the balance on 20th February 2022. It's coming up to 128,000. Yeah. Next, say three reasons why a company sometimes makes a right issue of share rather than a general issue of share. What is a right issue? Uh, right issue is basically a you're giving your shares at like premium. To whom? To your existing shareholders. So, first you're going to offer your shares at a premium to existing shareholders. So, why does a company do right issue than a general issue? It is less expensive. Yeah. It is faster to process. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm giving the shares to my existing shareholders, so there is no dilution of ownership.
so it avoids the dilution of ownership um is also from bonus issue dilution as an upper right yeah no okay hmm? and it is more likely to be successful because although i'm selling the shares at a premium but it will always be sold at a less than market price so it is more likely to be successful yeah as the shares are issued at favorable price Done.